So today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content and today we are going to talk about palettes. It feels like I talk a lot about palettes but I love eyeshadow palettes. So today I'm going to talk about my 10 favorite palettes so far this year and this is not palette. I haven't bought all this palette this year. Some palettes I have had have had longer in my collection but I've used them more and like find a love for them this year and my <laughs> year has been a little bit rough the first like five months of this year it was not good and if you have been here more than five months I you know that I haven't been feeling that good but now I'm feeling better and I haven't bought I, I want to say that I haven't bought that much makeup this year but like I have to be honest I have but yeah I haven't bought all of these this year I've used some of them last year but this year I have been really really liking them so it's 10 palettes and I've tried to rank them I like all of them I really really do but yeah I think we just hop into this and I don't know if I should scooch a little bit so the first palette is from Colourpop and I think might some of these palettes will shock you maybe maybe not am I being over dramatic maybe I am but the first palette is the Sweet Talk palette from Colourpop this I bought last summer it must have been it looks like this. This is a super neutral pink leaning palette but I have really been liking this. I was on my vacation this year I was up and visiting my family and I bring this palette and I used it more than once and I really have been liking this. It doesn't look much to the world but I know that a lot of people really 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 like this palette and I understand why. It is a really nice palette, it's a really good quality, it's Colourpop's good quality and I just think it is a really good palette when I just want something nothing like super special but maybe a little bit more than just some matte neutral shades so yeah I've been really liking this palette I liked it when I first tested it out I think I did get rid of it with me but now the latest month I have been using it a little bit more and uh, yeah, I think it's really good. The next one I think... No, I think I bought it in the last uh, months of last year. <laughs> last months of last year. In the end of last year. And it's the Greek Goddess from Lunar Beauty. I really like Lunar Beauty and... <laughs> I bought this because it was on sale and I was like okay I want more Lunar Beauty palettes but this this is really really good I think this is really fun and it is a lot of deep shades in this it is a neutral palette it has this blue one but it is a neutral palette but it has a lot of deep dark shades and they are really really dark and really pigmented like this one is really dark, this one is dark, this one I guess is dark, I haven't used it yet, or have I? No. Um, but they are really really good and the shimmers in this palette is really really good. I did use, I think I did a first impression in Get Ready With Me with this one and then I had a Lunar Beauty Week and I did a look with this. And I've used it outside of YouTube. If I'm going to be honest, this is what I use when I'm not filming. Because I also think this is fun. But maybe not so fun to do a video on. But I think this palette is really good. I think though this is discontinued. I never know with Lunar Beauty. And like with... I buy Lunar Beauty from Beauty Bay. And I don't know if they just stop selling it or if they really are out of stock or discontinued. I don't know. But I really like that one. I like it much more than I thought I was going to do. Next palette is a palette 
that I have talked about in um, if I could only keep 10 palettes it's more palettes in this in the rest of the pile that was in that video and this one I also did a theme week and it is Scarlet Dusk from Ace Boucher. It is something about this palette. I don't know what it is, but it's something about it. And I just, I just love this little pink and orange palette. I think it's really, really, really good. I'm thinking of doing a multiple looks with this one, but it's just such a good palette. And this also have these really deep shades and the shimmer. Like this Maui, it is such a good light pink shimmer. I just think this palette is so so good. It is one of my favorite pinkish palettes. I like it so so much. In place number six, seven, it's good that I can count, is a neutral palette. I did a Get Ready With Me not long time ago with this palette and it's the Side by Side by Nabla. And I thought that I wasn't going to like this that much. I can't hold it like that, I'm going to drop it. It is a neutral palette and it's cold toned, but I really do like it. I love Nabla's eyeshadow palettes. I have them all, <laughs> except for a quad. A glitter quad but other than that I have all their eyeshadow palettes this is a super good formula I really like the shimmers in this one I really like the mattes in this one and like this half time is a perfect crease shade for me and I love that I can go either kind of cold or and really really dark or I can I can choose a little bit I have some different options and I've been really, really, really liking this palette. I think this is the palette this year that I've used the most outside of YouTube. And I know that might be like annoying for me to say that, but I do not film all my looks. Sometimes I do looks because I just want to. And I'm going out to eat maybe. So I'm sorry if I keep saying that. Okay. In the rest of the pile, it's going to be a lot of Kaleidos and on place number five, six, how, how, I just said seven, in place number six, it's the Flower Punk palette and it was not a long time ago since I did a two looks one palette with this one and that was when I changed my mind. My first impression, I wasn't super thrilled. And uh, then I did my two looks and I I just really, really, really like this one. I love these green down here and also like these two shimmers are really, really good. I really like this minty shimmer with a cut crease. It is amazing and that together with these pink ones. It is just so, so good. The only thing I hate with this palette, it's this, I hate that the lid is loose. I can't stand it, but the palette is really good. And I, I think I would rank this as maybe before I did my two looks one palette, I would rank this in the bottom of my Kaleidos palettes, but now it's getting pretty high because I think it's, it's a really, it's a really good palette. And now we're coming into some collab palettes. <laughs> and uh, first off is Beauty Bean and Trouts. It's freaking bad. I did two looks, one palette with this one. And this is just such a grungy, cool little nine pen palette. I love Shroud's formula. I love Shroud's shimmer formula. And I love Betty Jean's style. So this was like perfect for me. I wanted it before I even saw it. But then when she did her video on it, I was like, I need it in my life now. I did wait a super long time for this one. I can't even remember when I got it. Was it the end of last year or was it the beginning of this year? I can't remember. But I was so happy when it finally came. I love it so much. I have used 
all the shadows more than once and they are just amazing and I really love this zero shade it's such a nice shimmer and of course I love the green ones especially this crunchy cool green one but the shimmers in this palette are amazing so I'm so happy that I got it I love Shroud's formula I wish though that this palette was bigger in place number four it's another collab palette and it's the Serenity palette I did a free looks one palette a couple of weeks ago and then I really like realized how much I like this palette. This is made with Menardry and Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. Annette is my friend. I am a little biased. I'm just going to put it out there. I know that I am. But it's just a really, really good palette. I love the shimmers in this one. I love this yellow shimmer. I don't know why I have a hard times with colors. I don't know. The orange shimmer I love, of course. And this one is really, really nice. I did a purple look with this. I took this one and this matte purple and this periwinkle and it it was such an amazing look. I don't know if I took this one as well. I maybe did but it was so fun to play with this and I really love the overall like I love the color story, I love the shimmers, the mattes are really good and like this pink shimmer it is so so bright and even this one is really... Now I am very fair so I don't know if you have a deeper complexion than me but on me this works perfect and yeah I just think this is a super good palette and it was so fun to do my free looks one palette with this one. I love to do this video. In third place is a little six pen palette from Lethal. This is the Memento palette. This is one of their pre-made six pen palettes that they came out with. I think they came out with four. And I just think this is so good. I bought this because I wanted some more pink eyeshadows in my collection. And I'm really, really happy with this. I think it's Lethal, Lethal's normal formula, which I love. I love that it's three mattes, three shimmers, one really dark matte. And I think it's just so, so, so good. This I also brought uh, on my little vacation trip visiting my family. And this was perfect to use together with the Sweet Talk palette. And now I wonder if you can guess the two last palettes. The runner up is a palette that I have had for a little over a year. The first time I thought it was okay. Then I have used it in some Get Red With Me's. I have done a collab with this. And I think I might have done a pal bingo. Or maybe not. But it's the Escape Pod from Kaleidos. I got this in PR last year. And this... People really, really liked this palette when it came out. And I was like... Why? I didn't thought that this... I thought it was a good Kaleidos formula, but it was something about it that I didn't love. But the more I've used it, the more I love it. Now this is in the top of my Kaleidos palettes and the green shimmers. This one, Saturnalia and Galactic Gala, they are amazing. And also I like the pink and purple shimmers here and I also like the neutrals down here. I think this is just such a fun pun palette to play with. Fun pa palette to play with. And I'm happy that I did pick it up even though I wasn't thrilled about it because I've been really, really liking it. I don't though dig in to the top row as much. I know. What's up with me? But I really like the two last rows and I think this is a really good palette and I'm happy that Kaleidos still got this in their collection because it seems like they're starting to discontinue palettes from their Futurism collection. I don't really get that. And the last palette is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. This is also a collab palette and it's of course the Club Nebula palette from Kaleidos. This is together with Angelica Nyqvist. And I am so happy for Angelica to do this. I have met Angelica in real life. And she's really sweet. And 
yeah, I also got this in PR in the beginning of this year. Was it in February? I don't, I, I think this was the last PR that I got from Kaleidos. And this palette has saved me so many times. I have talked about this more than once, but uh, when I was super low on motivation, I picked this palette up so many times and played with it because it is such an easy palette to get looks of. So I guess it has a special place in my heart and I really love the deeper shades out here and I really love the shimmers that you can use as topper if you want to or you can take a glitter primer and really get like them fully opaque and really really good and I think it is Kaleido's formula, the usual formula and yeah this has made me use makeup when I didn't think I even want to touch makeup. So yeah this is, has absolutely been my favorite palette this year and I'm so happy that I got it in PR. I got it when I had my no buy but I would actually have broken my no buy to get this palette because I know it was going to be fantastic because I love Kaleidos and Angelica is super good when it comes to makeup and fun color stories and yeah. So yeah, that was my favorite 10 palettes so far this year. It is other palettes that I've bought this year that I'm not super thrilled about and there are also palettes that I haven't used yet. So yeah, for example, Oh, this one, this is what I have on my eyes today. I am doing a free looks one palette with this. Two looks, free looks, free looks. I think you have already seen it because this video is coming up after. Maybe this is just the first look. So maybe when I've done two more looks, maybe this would have been with this 10 palettes. I don't know. But yeah, I really loved you <laughs> like this video and please tell me which has been your absolute favorite palette this year. And it doesn't have to be a palette that you have bought this year. I haven't bought all of these this year. Maybe like half of them. So I really hope you like this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. My voice is getting somewhere not with me. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. I really hope you liked it. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.